Shouldn't you be in class? Miss Collins kicked me out. What did you do this time? Barely anything. I may have drawn a particular part of the nail anatomy in Emily's coursework. Emily's coursework was on her dad, wasn't it? It was indeed. How did they know it was you? Sandy. Of course she did. She's got who's coming. You two girls been in class? Free period, sir. What do you think is true? What is? I'm in Miss Collins. Who in Miss Collins? Mr. Bell. What? What is wrong with you? Mr. Bell and Mrs. Collins are like, you know, like... No way! She has kids. She's married. And your dad did it. I'm sorry. Don't get that. Let's go get something to eat. I've got to go to class. You should watch out for Mr. Bell. It's obvious he likes me. It's disgusting, but who can blame him? Right. I think I'm gonna get a drink from the cafeteria. Oh, wait for me, I'll come. Meet me there? Okay. I know it, you're exchange student already. Spying on me as usual? What? <laughs> oh, come on, I know you're jealous of me. I'm jealous of you. So better I see you. Is there something I'm missing? Steve. Steve. Steve and me. Steve who? Steve Peterson. What about him? <sighs> oh, come on. I know you liked him. Who didn't? And you're jealous that I go with him. You and Steve, please. Yeah. It did happen. Just like Mr. Bell fancying you? He does. Don't think so, unless your name is Miss Collins. What? Mrs. Collins and Mr. Bell? How do you know? Daisy saw them together. Oh my god. You can't tell anyone. No, of course not. Promise you won't tell. No, of course not. So this is where I made little Dave pee his pants. Why? He flicked my bra strap. So then I slapped him and then I screamed at him. Can't even remember what I screamed at him. But when I looked at him, he beat himself. It was hilarious. Oh, and there is where I kissed Steven Peters. He is like the hottest guy in the school. At least he was. He left last term. We still text now and then. But hey, I'm over him. Oh, my favorite friends. You should say hi. You can say hi to him later. Why not now? Why are you so desperate to hang out with him? Am I that boring to you? No. I just thought it'd be nice. We can say hi to him later. What's it like in your school? That's fine. The nuns can be a bit strict, but... I mean, the weather's way nicer here. I find it crazy you go to a nunnery. It's... Not a nun race. Just run by nuns. How's it like going to an only girls school? <laughs> Must suck. Why? No boys. Duh. It's nice. How do you meet boys? Oh, there's no boys school across the road, so. Oh, thank God! I'm not a nun. Fairly religious. I bet the boys are gonna love me when I go to Ireland. Sure. Oh, and there's Mrs. Collins. She's cheating on her husband with Mr. Bell. She has two kids. What is she thinking, right? Are you awake? I, I thought you were someone else. Oh, you're Ursula's exchange friend. 
Letitia. I'm Ken. Did you think I was her? <laughs> She's annoying, right? Are you supposed to be her friend? Ursula's no. But she said... She says a lot of things. Like how she got with the hottest guy in school, but now he's left. Steve Peterson, yeah, that didn't happen. I thought this exchange thing was going to be fun, but I can't be alone. She doesn't let me talk to anyone. Where is she now? She's gone to some meeting with a teacher. She told me to wait here. You don't have to do what she says, you know? I don't want to annoy her, though. She has to come back with me to Ireland. <laughs> That's going to be fun for you. Your friends are going to hate her. It'll be fine, though. I'll just go send her to the boys' school across the road to annoy them instead. <laughs> She'll definitely annoy them. She always tells me that all the guys want her. She says that she's gone with all the hottest guys in school. She even told me that Mr. Bell wants her. Mr. Bell? Yeah, and then she said that she heard from Martina, who heard from Daisy, that Mr. Bell's having an affair with Miss Collins. The gossip around this school is crazy. She would never do that. She has three kids and an amazing husband. I tutor them. Anyway, do you want to hang out over the weekend? If I can get away from Ursula. Bring her along. I can put up with her for one day. I don't think she'll come. She wants me all to herself. Don't worry about it. Anyways, bye. I'm so tired. I can't do with all of these exams. I've got Spanish this afternoon, history and math tomorrow, and double science on Monday. Plus, I have the lines to learn for the school play and a tennis tournament this Friday. Hello? I might as well be talking to a brick wall. Yes, I heard you. Spanish, math, history, double science, play, and tennis. All oh, right. What's got your goat? What good is Mona going to do? You chose to do the play and you chose to do tennis. If it's such a big deal for you, then just quit. Like my mom would let me quit. Then shut up moaning about it and get on with it. I will. Good. Do you like my style? What? Do you like the way I dress? Yeah. Do you want to go shopping? There's like a cool new vintage shop. I'm good. What's wrong with you? I've never heard you turn on a trip to the mall. Just don't feel like it. Why? Just leave it. Jeez, fine. Ursula's exchange friend, Letitia, told me something that Ursula told her. This should be good. Mrs. Collins and Mr. Bell have been seeing each other. What? That's what she said. No, she's gone too far. She heard it from Martina. Martina? That heard it from Daisy. Of course she did. What is your problem? What? You know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't. Mrs. Collins and Mr. Bell. Yeah, and what about them? <laughs> Stop playing dumb. I don't know what you're talking about. I know you start the rumor about them. I didn't start anything, but you did. What are you on about? Grassing me up to Mrs. Collins? Oh my God, you're the one who started drawing on her coursework in the first place. She's such a loser. She has kids. She has a husband. Emily, isn't she a bit young? What is wrong with you? I'm sorry. It's you. Give me my phone. What's going on? She's at 13 Darkness. Who? The one who's been arresting her on Instagram. What's wrong with you? It serves you right for being a snitch. You're horrible. And what are you? I can't believe you just did that. She deserved it. You're going out with Karen and not me? That's not what I meant. Tell me.
we all just be friends? No! You're my friend, not hers! I can't deal with this anymore. I'm going back to Harlem. You can't! My parents won't let you! It's okay. Don't touch me, you loser. <laughs>